God bless you and God bless you, saints of God. Welcome, welcome to our extended family that are viewing tonight. We are honored to be here. This is, this is really special that we have an opportunity to sit down and chill out Ooh. with you, talk with you, and talk about the happenings. Listen, we've got a major conference coming up next week. Tell us about it. Ooh, we do. Universal Citizens, Vision Casters. Yep. Vision Casters, Universal Citizens. You can go to all of our Facebook pages, the website. Uh, it's there, Eric Newell Ministries, Inspiring Ministries. It's somewhere out there. Uh, you can register on Eventbrite, uh, and we have got a host of speakers, and uh, looking forward to a great time. We're going to be talking about universalism, universalism. And why it's important for the body of Christ to operate in a universalism-type mindset, and uh, it's going to be good. You're going to be with us. And that's going to be something. Yes, sir. Rebecca and I are excited. We've been working diligent, so... It's going to be a good time. All right. Good time. Good time. House is in a good place. Uh, this last Sunday, uh, I was supposed to be here with you and uh, instructed by the king to stay and minister the word. Didn't get a chance to minister. Miracles just started breaking out. Fibroids being destroyed, different illnesses, back pains, things like that. Just it sounded like you guys had a blowout here this way. The just shall live by faith. <laughs> right. <laughs> So it's good to know we're in sync. Yeah, we, we had quite a touchdown on Sunday and just dropped, dropped into a spot. And it's, uh, you know, we had a, a long weekend. We were teaching on Friday, taught again Sunday, yes, Saturday, and then Sunday. Uh, I guess it was what I call a residual. The glory just kind of hovered and showed up in the room. And uh, we, we just went on in with it, you know. Uh, good thing about that leadership symposium. Yeah. We had a mob of people on that thing. We certainly did. Each we certainly time. did. And, and to the House of Judah, thank you for all of you that ran sound uh, in any Amen. level of tech. Uh, it was good. It was clear. Um, very well presented. Thank you guys for also stepping up to make sure that seeds were sown to our king. That's always important. We're not looking for that. Uh, but you know you can't go get it somewhere else for free. Right. Yeah. All right? right? And so we always want to make sure yeah. that that's well. You know, we, we have been teaching, teaching in that vein for years and years, and it's, 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 it never surprises me when the Holy Spirit brings us back into that place and then he takes us not in a different vein, but allows you to see things you never paid attention to before. Yes, so sir. we were in one of those vamping places where stuff was coming alive, people was getting hooked up, clarity came. Uh, I know a few people got saved that always <laughs> claimed they were saved. They got delivered. <laughs> But it, it, it was all kind of manifestations of God throughout our covenant family. They're still talking about it. Of course, you know, there, there's this ongoing fight with my pads. And the wife said to remind you that she is first partaker, but oh she's God. not going to hold on to all of them listen. herself. I can't I, fight I'm her. Just saying, I, got, I got stuff in rooms that people don't know about, so <laughs> it's, it's going to be plenty, of course. And then uh, uh, Ambassador Moss just really, really said, he said, I don't want none of the books. I want the jacket. That's what he said. That's what he said. <laughs> I mean, and, and I wanted to say, you can't fit it. But that's what I mean anyway. Yeah, you bad. You're just bad. I didn't mean it like that ugly, you know what I mean? <laughs> you're just bad. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh -huh. It's bad. So, so, so tell me, sir, we are, we are uh, just uh, grateful that uh, the Lord allows us to just make some adjustments. I tell you, in this last season, I, I don't know what's happening to, and I say this prophetically to people that are struggling resting. Yes, sir. Because uh, my day is night, my night is day, hours are just running, and when I should be, I think, getting up, Something in me says you need to lay back down, and then you're up all night, and it's all kind of stuff going. And it's not that there's ma major downloads coming, but a still small voice with just one word, and that one word turns into a, a book, just like that. And it's just a, a, an incredible season. So tonight, I I asked you if we could just, in case, do some pre-recording, and I appreciate yes, that, you know, and. Uh, I, I am enjoying your topic. We've been trying to get around to this place for a long time now. Uh, I caught uh, Cato, also known as It Takes a Thief, also known as Elder Neil Maxumbo, talking about the courage to hope. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, he, by the Spirit, was all up in my stuff because there, there, there is a place in the courage to lay down. You've got to hope against hope. Yes, sir. Uh, there, 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 there is a, a, a rim in, 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 in courage that requires you to, as uh, Deborah was saying, uh, you got to see what he's saying. Yes, sir. And 
that saying or the picture or the glimpse of hope uh, that is really uh, faith mm -hmm. just causes you to, to maneuver and to weather. Not that it makes you feel any better, right. but you're not out there in the dark all by yourself. And God will faithfully keep doing things over and over again to let you know he has not forgotten his word or forgotten his promise. And that's what the weekend was like for yes, me. Sir. You know, and that's what uh, the journey has been like for all of us in the house of Judah. And, and I am really intrigued by the timing of when God wants to do this mm -hmm. stuff. So go ahead. You got it. Come on down the street. <laughs> no, sir. Yeah, no, you sir. got some questions. You got some questions. So to all of you that will be joining us on the trumpeter's call, um, where the saints are evolving into the matchless, glorious, marvelous bride. She is the Lord's wife. Um, we've been talking about the courage too. And so tonight, Bishop is gonna lead us in the courage to lay down, the courage to let go of. Wow. And uh, so I'm excited about it because uh, I've been front and center with some of those things. Um, but I have to say this, um, to watch over the last two weeks, the level of word Okay, I got it. Just let me get this and then we can move. The level of word that you've been able to bring in the amount of time um, doesn't go yes. because it's a good preacher. Um, I've been with you long enough to know that when God is pressing you to uh, empty out your spirit with something that is specifically a birthing place. So I, I want to know before we jump into laying down or if it's all one what specifically is God allowing him to birth? Hmm. All right. Inquiring minds want to know, ain't that right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, it does not yet appear what we shall be. <laughs> okay. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him what he is. I, I guess in this whole process, and I, I'm just really intrigued, excited about the way God is bringing all of us. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about the spirit of courage. We get national uh, universal citizens coming mm -hmm. on board. We have been in this dreams, interpretations Ooh. class and, 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 all, and all of that. And it, it has made me ponder and consider just all the ways God has brought me. And if anything stands out, if I want to say anything about what's being birthed, it's what you have heard me say, that it will always be through you or in you before yes, it's through you. Yes, sir. So I never want to get so far ahead to uh, what we said over the weekend, keep the charge of the Lord while the cloud is abiding here. Yes, sir. Because if I move too fast yeah. and just want to get through it, I'm going to miss what's been done in me in the process. Mm -hmm. And what's done in me, it's not for me. It's so that I can discern how to help the people around me. Mm -hmm. yes. So the word always says to become flesh. Whatever God is dealing with any of us on, he wants it to become such reality in us that when it's needed by somebody else, we can talk about it with a level yes, of sensitivity yes, that sir. brings not only revelation and illumination, but it brings compassion. So the people hearing it, they don't hear it as information. Yes, sir. They hear it as, this is glory set right in front of me, and all Hallelujah. I have to do is keep watching. Hallelujah. You know? and, that's, uh, and that's been consistent with God. So whatever this thing is, it's happening in me. So okay. I'm not getting irritated with the lack of. Might get irritated with some folk along the way. God, you know, but that's just folk. Right. You know? But uh, I am understanding the timing of things around us. It's one thing to be in it. It's another thing to stay open enough to say the sequence of how this is happening, mm -hmm. where it's happening, uh, all the things going on around you that really become backseat because you want to get out of it mm -hmm. and not pay attention to the fact, oh, something else is going on. That's good. And the something else that goes on is really the encouragement yes, that you need to keep moving. I like it. I yeah. like it. I was sharing today with someone concerning the uh, the omniscience of God. And even when I was praying just a little bit ago, I can hear, mm -hmm. I can't get away from the word omniscience, the mm -hmm. all-knowingness and God saying uh, out of James chapter 5 mm -hmm. that uh, the husband man is waiting for the precious fruit of the patiently earth. Waiting. But he says patiently waiting. Patiently waiting. And, um, and one of the major things about apostolic 
it's right. people, apostolic ministry, apostolic churches, mm -hmm. is that they have to be a people of patience because uh -huh. that's one of the number one characteristics of right. true apostles. Right, right. It's juicy. Yeah. It's juicy. The, 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 the whole flow, even, even tonight, I remember uh, somewhere at the close, I had no idea we had been in church that long. You know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of mindful, you know, of all of that, all that. And a uh, uh, Sunday we hit this spot. Ooh, it felt like we went back to church for real. Wow. You know, <laughs> and uh, it was <laughs> somebody said, it, and it's, it, it's something. When God does something in you, people feel it. Yes, sir. Uh, it it yes, becomes sir. tangible. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to, I got to, uh, first of all, thank you again for all these platforms because all these opportunities, you know, and I keep sitting on, I said, oh, Lord, this is a whole book. We ain't got enough time to deal with right. this and this and this and this and this and this and this. Uh, when Jackie was, uh, Prophet Jackie was speaking the other night, mm -hmm. I literally found myself in the tabernacle listening to the same prophetic word coming out of three different rooms and the authority that went with it. And I said, oh my God, what is that? Mm -hmm. You know, and I just, you know, it's one of the things you gotta, okay, what you supposed to do with that piece? Yes. You know, and you just write it down and, and tuck it away. But it, it, it all was revolving or evolving around this word courage. And I couldn't get far into courage, the spirit of courage without encourage. Yes, sir. And when I got to encourage, it took me to uh, middle English language <laughs> and I ended up with that that pulls on the desire or the affections of one's heart. Wow. So when I talked about the courage to lay down, yes. if it's not your heart, it's not what he's after yet. Wow. You know, so it, it took off from there. I don't even know where to start tonight. Yes, sir. I think you're doing a good job. Y'all think we're here in the room? Yeah. What's unique, Bishop? is there's so much, rel and I don't mean this negatively, I just mean this honestly. There's, there's so much religious jargon or so much, it's accessible, accessible, teaching after teaching after teaching, and nothing's wrong with that. I, I, the Word of God says that, that the, the word of God shall cover, you know, that's right. Habakkuk chapter yeah. two, the uh, knowledge like, of the glory. Yeah, the knowledge yes. of the glory. I think it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I think what's sometimes very difficult to hear is what the true heart of God is from a consistent manner, and um, and it's not just preaching. It's right. not just teaching. So while you're talking, trying to we don't have to try to connect pieces. You're actually making the point of that word's being done in us. And, uh, and when I think about uh, the body and I think about watching how the church at large and then our individual churches are growing, I'm constantly challenged by what they're hearing and what they're seeing. Mm -hmm. Because you can turn on anything and get it. Again, I'm not saying that's evil or bad right. at all. I'm just saying if it, you, the point you just made, if it's not made flesh, right. then, then how tangible is it? Yeah. Yeah. How real is it? Right. How, how applicable is it? Yeah. Uh, the Bible is very clear. We're in, a, we're in a season, we're in a dispensation, the knowledge is going to increase. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, illumination and wisdom is not increasing oh, with that play. knowledge. Don't play. The, the, Ooh, you know, don't play. We got a whole lot of information, but very little wisdom yeah. of yes, application. Sir. Yes, sir. And we're not, we're not getting anywhere yes. <laughs> with all this in information. And it's, uh, it makes you appreciate moments like this. So uh, we, we, can, we can go, uh, I guess the door is wide open, the gate is wide open, but you can't, you can't get far talking about the spirit of courage without considering how that topic and how that theme has been birthed through the visionary. <laughs> see, when we talk about the word becomes flesh, See, see, you, you, you can't talk about it without realizing that it has become. Yes, sir. It's not a, a cute little title. And I, I listen to you all the time trying to say, we've been in this place for a minute. And every time I go to, to get away from it, to change it to something else, you just find yourself. See, that's God. Yes, that's sir. God 
giving us an opportunity to see what you're saying. Yes, sir. Versus just hear what you're saying. Because mm -hmm. every aspect of EJ, EJ's how He'll be how old? He'll be 29. So every, every aspect of the 30 years mm -hmm. has been about the spirit of courage. Yes, sir. And, I, and I'm looking at it. So your spirit of courage is what kept me encouraged. And, 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 that's, and likewise. And yeah, but that, that's how plain God wants to make the word so people don't run around and say, oh, that's just a nice topic. And I came away with this, came away with this, came away with that. John that's said, good. it's the word that we declared to you from the beginning. Mm. We walked with it. We handled it. We right. touched it. Right. You know, we were there with it. It was manifested unto us mm. and not missed that. It just wasn't what Jesus was preaching. It was Jesus himself walking with them, and they were, they were able to touch this manifestation. Mm -hmm. It's the touching that makes it real. Yes, sir. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I good agree. stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. I said suddenly, and it's still true today, 30 years later, I had fainted because the introduction to you all into my life was critical to things that were still in the unseen realm that we're about to come into manifestation. Mm -hmm. That's courage. And what it required, though we talk about it, but we really need to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> for instance, y'all y'all ready? Oh uh, yeah. So, so <laughs> here I am, I'm thinking about, thinking about this, this stuff. And again, I, every one of these is everlasting topics, every mm -hmm. one of them. So I apologize ahead of time for saying, Here's the framework. Yes. It was the season of a deliverer that needed to be birthed. Mm. Somewhere in the spirit, a king acknowledged that we need to stop this thing. Yes, sir. Because this thing means the end of our kingdom. Now, maybe they didn't have that kind of insight like we're reading into it, like I'm talking about it now, but something moved this king to make a decree that infanticide or the killing of male children mm -hmm. was going to take place. Mm -hmm. In the midst of that, a Levi had a child. Mm, Jochebed. Ooh. And the Bible said that this son of Aram and Jochebed uh -huh. was a goodly child. Then they said, I don't they, know how many of you do this. Ooh. They had no fear of the king's decree. Yes, sir. But courage said, we're going to hide this child as long as we could. <laughs> Whew, that's yeah. the spirit of courage. Yeah. Yes, sir. Against hope, against all odds, against uh, them losing their own life. Mm -hmm. Something about this child meant more than just their offspring to them, so they hid him. And the Bible said when they could no longer hide him, mm -hmm. they had another plan. Right. They put him on an ark, and they sailed him down the Nile. Mm -hmm. And Sister Miriam watched her brother go down this aisle. Yes, sir. And strategically land in the eyesight of Pharaoh's daughter. Exodus chapter 2, 1 through 10, <laughs> y'all. Yes, sir. Pharaoh's daughter immediately recognized he was one of the Hebrews. Uh -huh. Didn't bother her. Didn't bother her that her daddy had made this decree to kill everything. And something about that situation moved her into compassion. And she brought the child. And the sister was in a position to say, should I go and fetch a midwife to nurse the child? Ain't that something? And goes home and gets mama. <laughs> so mama by faith sends the child down the now, But mama's still nursing the child all the time. He's being groomed Ooh. in somebody else's home. That's courage. Yes, sir. That's courage. Ah, <laughs> oh, glory to God. That's courage. And, and, and with, when the Bible speaks that they did all they could to shield him, to cover him, to hide him, mm -hmm. plan of God was, but I need to raise him in the culture to deliver you from the culture. Yes, sir. 
Now, did they know all that? No, we're reading all that now. Mm -hmm. But they moved by faith, but they had to let go of their heart yes. in order to bring about the deliverance of a people that were waiting. Wow. That, it's a powerful place, man. It's, it's a powerful place. So I'm reading this, and I'm jumping back now, now to 1995. And a decision has to be made about the custody of my own children. <laughs> and the legal system says to me, uh, this can only happen if you give consent. And I'm between standing my ground or looking at the broader situation to say, can this child survive with me? And can this mother survive without this child? Right. And just as, just as plain as I think I'm sitting in this chair right now, I may not be, I'm just saying it, in case I'm not here. I heard a voice say, you put Moses on that ark and sail him down the Nile and trust me to bring him back at the appointed time. Yes, sir. And I remember the night we put him in, in the car. And Absolutely. Drove to Cincinnati. Little did I know that next year at our conference, the prophet of God says, in the midstream, in the middle of the message, say to me, man of God, mm -hmm. 31 days from today's date, you're going to see an outright miracle in yes, your sir. personal life. And then went on and carried on with the message. Mm. On the 31st day, I was in the court in front of a female judge that was given full custody of both children. Yes, sir. That, that was God saying, because you moved with courage and faith, because you considered the life of somebody else other than yourself. Yes. I made good on, my, on that. That's good. That's good. And it's, <laughs> it's so... Everybody in the room? I'm sorry, that was a, that's what I mean, it's got to be made flesh. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And, and Bishop, when I remember when we were in that space, the wrestle of what that looked like mm -hmm. or all of the outcomes, you know, and I believe a lot of times for the believer, we're so tied up in the outcomes that it's really hard to let go of the Moses or let go of the dream or let go of whatever it is that God is asking for us to give. Right. And that is that space yeah. that God tries us with the hard thing that somebody else wouldn't even dare ask us for. Yeah. For me and I think for most of us when we're dealing with the spirit of courage, we so want to know, mm -hmm. is he really going to ask me for it? Mm -hmm. Versus God said, this is a willingness check. Yes, sir. You know, you pass the willingness <laughs> check, you know, then maybe I can show you another day. But you, you've got to get to the willing part. And, I, and it's not that God just leaves you out there to say, okay, deal with the word willing. There are supernatural things going on around us. I was, I was talking to a Teach on Sunday about uh, you all's first stay upstairs. Yes, sir. Ooh, it was scary, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. You know, and, and, I, and I can't remember where we were in our relationship before that night happened. Mm. But we had, a, and a, of course, maybe some of y'all know, he worked a night shift, and I wasn't sleeping during that season anyway, so we would just be chatting on the phone all night long, and then, oh, oh I got to go, and I said, yeah, I got to go to bed, you know. <laughs> um, but the Lord was forging what you see now during yeah. that process. So I can't remember how long we had been in that before oh, you finally man. come out, huh? Whew. Almost a year. Maybe almost a year. Almost a year. Yeah. Doesn't seem that long. And you know, the, the, other, the, other, the other thing that, that made it super unusual about how the Lord was developing that, uh, Teach was very protective of your daytime. Yes, she was. He's got to go to bed. Gotta he got to go to bed. bed. Right. No, we ain't bothering him, you know, and, and, again, and that was the introduction yes, to sir. our relationship. And I began to appreciate that about her, which threw us more into the night season, right. okay? Right. And, um, and I remember coming, and I remember somewhere in one of those conversations wrestling with that word, and something in me said, this is going to be the end of this relationship mm -hmm. if I say that. Uh, he was wrestling with the word of the Lord 
that God spoke to him that we were to become one. Two churches was to become one. Right. That's the word of the Lord, right? That was the word of the Lord. Yes, sir. That was the word of the Lord, but how to deliver the word of the Lord. Yes, sir. And what's going to happen remember. in the midst of delivering the word of the Lord. It's like, uh, and I'm already getting the feel for definition requires separation. Mm -hmm. And that, what is that going to look like? What is that going to feel like? And I remember when I finally said it, and you wait. And you wait. And we're here. Mm -hmm. But what people don't know is the courage to lay it down. Yes, sir. You know, and we don't spend enough time talking about the agony of what it costs, mm -hmm. the behind the scenes of what it costs. Had it just been you and wife and the members of Unity of faith, it would have been one thing, mm -hmm. but it was family. It was family that was very concerned about what you were doing and <laughs> where you were going and what this represented. And, and a lot of them could not see. Mm -hmm. a, 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 at the same time, there were individuals here that were just as concerned about what you coming was going to represent. Yes, sir. I mean, it, 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 it set a whole nother shift mm -hmm into the making of our ministry, that uh, even though God was sending glimpses of that prior to you all getting here, I mean, I'm looking around the room, there's Kendall, there's Tim, mm -hmm. I mean, there's Danny still here, there are the levels here, and I can go right around the room and tell you that these people were coming in in droves and they were individuals, to me, was speaking of the potential of where we could go. Hallelujah. And you had people sitting around and said, oh no, oh, they man. are everything that he'd been preaching about and we ain't ready for this this quick, so we, oh my God. <laughs> we got some of those right now, man. I'm trying, it's happening just right now to date. Yeah. It's happening. But it, it, it took courage. Uh, you know, my, my favorite, uh, one of my favorite shows is, I got a bunch of y'all, look at my, my girls up, and you know I got a bunch of them, but I'm a, I'm a Trekkie. Mm -hmm. So every time I hear going where no man has gone before, that's church, yeah. that's visionaries. <laughs> You know, I see that. I says, you know, we we on a journey. We're about to explore some strange new worlds, Ooh. a strange new word, yes. word because people's interpretation of it is just, it's just, it's just out there, you know. So th there is a place and courage to lay it down that you don't see, but you something's working on the innermost part of you that tells you this is a faith step here. Yes. And you might have to take it by yourself with very little information, but if you take it, yes. the residual is going to be beyond words. Yes, sir. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I was having this conversation with someone the other day and I was sharing with them. Um, I try to share a lot of stories specifically with Inspire and when I'm with them about what this process really looks like mm -hmm. and why um, why it's so significant and so when you get to certain aspects of trying to share certain things you know you need to share it but based upon who's listening to what you're saying it could come across in a way that this is totally going to misrepresent what's being said because what's being said happened like that mm -hmm. but something deeper happened uh -huh. in me yeah. You know, um, coming to a space or anyone coming to a space of trust right. when you've been so dogged, Dumb. so taken advantage of mm -hmm. and saying, and this thing was looking like this and it was panning out like this. And we thought it was about kids swimming and it had nothing to do with kids swimming right. it had, and swimsuits. It had everything with God unveiling something right. that was important for us to take these next steps. Right. And, uh, and so trying to explain that transition doesn't always look beautiful. You know, it doesn't. Matter of fact, most of the time, scripturally, transition is something that's resisted. True. You know? True. So. True. Um, it was Monday night. One of the questions for, uh, the, uh, for Prophet Jackie mm -hmm. is, 
you get a word, or you have a dream, you have a, think you have an interpretation, you think you know where to apply it. Mm -hmm. uh, do you pray? Do you say? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> she told me about yeah. this. <laughs> and uh, it, it, it was full blown. Mm -hmm. And Inspire University class. Yeah. Dream yeah. language. I'm sorry, I forgot to include everybody. Y'all here? Y'all see it? Yeah, Dream okay. Language. Dream language. So, fall semester. This, this is for me, this is an indicator. We're still talking about the spirit of courage. Yes, sir. Is the weight of that thing. Mm -hmm. The weight of that thing, when it's heavy like that, you know. For me, I discern the urgency of it by the weight. Mm -hmm. And you can't get away from it. Right. It lingers. We were talking the other day, and I don't want to put all this in, but we were talking the other day about a situation, and the weight of it was still on me as heavy as it was when you had the conversation with me. Oh, and I knew that God was setting a platform for something to be transitioned. See, Transition is actually a medical term in the birthing process. Yes, sir. Okay. So when you said it, you in the labor long before you see the child. Oh, yes. So sir. we're in the you're in the we're in the labor of this thing coming into manifestation. And that's why the weight of it was so heavy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it came out and I was like, Oh, this is this is heavy. And I felt like you know, I felt like the midwife that I was carrying the child with. <laughs> you know, I said, "Oh my God!" Ooh, that I the, needed you. The, 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 I want to thank you, though. Just you help just, settle me, bro. Man, just, 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 just the weight of it tells you the demand that God is putting on it. And the other thing that we cannot dismiss, and uh, and I want to say to some of us that want to be more accurate than sensitive. Yes, sir. God wants to engage all of our emotions in the delivery of that weight. Oh. Because without that, people are not going to be able to connect. Hallelujah. Okay. So, so part of just delivering the word and knowing, can you feel it? Mm -hmm. You know, and if you feel it and carry it, it's going to help you in the delivery of that word. Mm -hmm. It's going to give you another level of sensitivity. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We in the room? Yeah, we in the room. <laughs> and, and that's birthing sons. That's birthing. And that's, that's, birthing that's birthing the heart and the mind of God. And, and I can say honestly, that it's taken the courage to challenge the way organizations, mm -hmm. um, the way ministry is being done by so many. Right. And uh, sometimes ministry is done by people with a pole that reaches Rebecca. That's right. That's so far away. It's too far away. It's, it's too far away. You know, you talked about this at the leadership symposium. You talked about proximity. But it seems like the longer the pole is, for the church world in this time, it seems like that's what more people flock to. And if you get caught with the mindset that I'm looking for numbers, butts in the seats, and, and, and not that I think anything's wrong with that, I'm looking for all of that for God to do, but that's a safety mechanism. If I can, hey, I know you're this, I don't know if you're Judas or not, but you look like Judas, so I'm gonna keep <laughs> Judas over there by that Jesus sign, you know what I mean? And really, then what happens is that long spoon, that long rod hinders us from really digging deeper into what God might be asking us about and, um, or asking us for. And then seeing whether it's quick or whether it takes a long time, this manifestation that you never had in your mind. Yeah. You, you never, matter of fact, it wasn't even about this yeah. person. It was about her, yeah. you know? And then you watch yeah. her respond to something that you're going, I was about to jump ship on this. I, I, literally, you know, I, I mean, I was about to just throw hands up and God says, but I want you to recognize that. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very humbling lesson more so than it is something that you want to, you know, <laughs> bellow off from the rooftop. It needs to be, mm -hmm. but it's, it's a humbling space. So with that said, let's talk about now the proximity of the Father to put the finger on the thing that you know that it's the hindrance for the son or the daughter in becoming approachable. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. 
just over the weekend, I was in, in another situation. It's about a family member. Family member in split family. Uh, somebody family died. This person was not going to attend because the person did not want to be disrespected by the family member. Wow. And, uh, and the question was, well, don't you think it's wrong that they didn't go? I said, I think it's wrong for you not to consider how they've come. Yes. Yes. I know. I got a bad mouth. I yes. just, you know, <laughs> we, we won't talk about majors and minors, but the major is mm -hmm. this person was birthed out of rejection. God, been rejected by everybody that should have loved them along the way, and you can't expect them to get over that. So when this person says disrespect, it's not about whether they are attending. It's about they, how they felt all their life. Mm -hmm. So my heart goes into who's going to redeem that before this person transitions. Yes, sir. You know, and uh, I said that to put us to the next individual, mm -hmm. Hannah in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Hannah is another one with the spirit of courage. Yeah. And it's not because she gave Samuel. It's about the time she spent to nurture that before she gave him. See, and, and I know it's all there in the scriptures, but for some reason, when, we, when I started thinking about the spirit of courage, I began to identify with these people in a whole nother way mm -hmm. to see, one, as much as the Bible says she was barren, mm -hmm. the Lord had intentionally right. shut that to produce something else. And what the Lord wanted to produced to her was a kingdom citizen. <laughs> I'm going to leave your stuff alone. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. And her husband mm -hmm. was better to her without her giving him anything. Wow. You know, it challenges, but I'm not worthy. Mm -hmm. The other wife has sons and daughters and they go to the temple every year and he gives them portions. He gives the wife's portion. He gives the kids portions. But he gives Hannah a worthy portion. Ain't that right? And she has nothing physically to offer him. Oh my God, have mercy. That's courage. <laughs> That's courage. And, and and you would think that his love for her would disarm her. Mm -hmm. she, the adversary, the thing on the inside of her, is just eating her up <laughs> because. Somewhere in her supernatural subconsciousness, she knows her womb, womb is designed to give, mm -hmm. but she can't because right. it's seasonal. It's out of her control, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So this one particular day, and are y'all enjoying the story? I thought, I thought it was juicy. This one particular day, she's in the temple, and she don't even have words. Her lips are just moving. Mm -hmm. And Eli who has vision problems, and he, he, he's right. away from God. <laughs> right. I mean, versus saying, yeah, yeah, <laughs> versus, he see yeah versus saying, you know, she's deep in, in spirit in, in an intercession. Oh, mm -hmm. she drunk. Yeah. You know, and, uh, and she says, I, 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 I'm not, you know, I, I've just got this petition from the Lord. And mm -hmm. whatever she said to him turns his heart to pray for her. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. And she goes home, and the scripture said, and the Lord opens up her womb, okay? She has this child. And the husband said, well, we need to go. Well, in it, she said, Lord, if you do this thing, mm -hmm. I will give him back to you. So I, I can only imagine after waiting so long, what's in you to say, because you answered my God, prayer, I'll lay it all down at your feet again. But she does. Anybody in the room? God, she does. But the child is too young mm -hmm. to be entrusted in somebody's care. So mm -hmm. she tells her husband, I'm not going to bring him until I wean him. Right. So there's years, there's space that this gift asked for <laughs> is in her care. She knows he doesn't belong to her because right. of a vow she made. Mm -hmm. But everything in her wants to set the stage for his nurturing. And she don't know she's about to nurture the last judge, a, a new era of the priesthood, mm -hmm. and a whole new line of the prophetic. She, yes. don't, she don't know all that. No. She just knows that she needs to feed him. And what she's feeding him is, God has answered my prayer. Right. <laughs> Woo! 
But when she weans him and finally brings him to Eli, mm -hmm. it said right then he starts ministering before the Lord. But she went every year with a coat she made for him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I can God, only imagine man. the emotions yeah. to go and see this gift. Man. And because Eli is now watching her coming every year, bringing this coat. You know, oh, yeah. she don't ask for him back. No. I mean, she's not playing, you know, this my child, I bring right. him back. You know, she, she's not doing it. She just brings this coach. She sees herself as a continuation of his nurturing process. That's when Eli prayed and she started having more kids. Right. She has two girls and three boys <laughs> because she was willing to lay it all down. Wow. Wow. I mean, just the emotions that are attached to the hope or the courage to lay it down mm -hmm. is where the grace and anointing is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, in that process, you see the seed of multiplication. Oh, my God. Every, sing every single time that someone is in a space, whether they're barren or every single time that you see that God asks them for the hard thing, they then are birthed into a space called the seed of multiplication. Absolutely. It's like their, their quiver, their womb, their ministry, their whatever you want to add to it, right? And I was reminded of a word that Elder Brown, that uh, Lady Donna Mom gave me years ago about being a universal, a universal bishop. And here comes this universal citizen. And, uh, but more importantly than that being spoken about me, I think it's what God is declaring concerning his church. I believe that very much so that he wants to honor his word in us, because we have stayed. We, ha we, ha we have held on. Everything, done everything right? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. uh, said too much at times? Absolutely did. But at the same time, in the right heart, saying, God, we're going to stand to see the fulfillment of what you're going to do, mm -hmm. or the fulfillment of how you want to do it, and if you even want to do it in us. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's how we got to where we were on Sunday, the prophet said, I will set myself upon my watch, stand in my tower, and will, and will wait to see what he will say to me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the stand that we take in the midst of those converse, midst of those struggles mm -hmm. that tells God not only are we promotable, another word, that we're trustworthy. Yes, sir. Yes. Trustworthy yes, sir. with the process. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. I, yes, sir. I got, no. I got. To, to those of you that are watching, listen, whatever space you are in right now where God has his hand and his heart towards you as his beloved, that you don't know if you can make that next step or if you can really make it through the process of laying down what he's asking, man, we pray for you tonight that attached to you being obedient to God and making the sacrifice of whatever he's asking, uh, be it a pride thing or be it, um, it might be a child. You know, it, it may be something real physical uh, that you cherish that you would allow the spirit of courage to rest on you and that you make that choice because that choice doesn't just facilitate you as you heard the man of God say, it, it just it facilitates so many other people, so many other spaces of time, and, uh, and God's going to do what he says he's going to do. And how he's going to do it, I have no idea for you. Yeah. But I can tell you uh, that on a regular basis, uh, we're not just eating it, we're living it and, uh, and being broken again and again and again for it. Um, and so he's going to manifest you not just a thing. And so, Father, I just pray for the person right now that, that's oh, having yeah. that wrestle, uh, that wrestle to press in even more. I've done all I need to do. I've done all I can. I, I'm not, I don't need to do anymore. Father, but you're asking us to press in deeper. Father, for that person who is called upon to lay down and give up, Father, something they waited their entire life to receive, that was just a part, a portion Father, we pray now that you would allow them to take every single step, as the woman of God said, by faith. Let the just, let the just, they that are just hearted towards God, 
Father, be able to make each step circumspectly. Hallelujah. May Hallelujah. they be able to make it circumspectly. This is all the information I got. And I'm going to use this information to say, God, I hope that it pleases you as I make it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. That's, I need to just. <laughs> you need to insert that in there. Yes, powerful. sir. As a, as a parent, uh, spiritual parent, biological parents, mm -hmm. uh, I guess the greatest challenge to that is when, as a parent, you say, I need to take my hands off of it. Mm. I just need to let them go. Um, I can only imagine what the prodigal's father, mm -hmm. where he was when he finally said, I can't stop you from doing what's in you to do it. Just, just do it. Here's the money to do it with. <laughs> and uh, to send him on his way. I mean, the, 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 the struggle of that, I'm, I'm looking at all the people that have come through this house when mm -hmm. you realize ain't a thing else you can do. Right. You don't flip the pancake, fry the pancake, stuff the pancake, you know, grill the pancake, boil the pancake. It's still a pancake, but maybe if we flip it over, cut it up, maybe you eat it and just, you just don't know. as many opportunities as God has given us, why it don't click, but we can't control that. And coming to a point, place where you watch God do both. Right. You let them go, or God force you to let them go. God know it. Neither one of them are pretty scenarios. Neither one of them are pretty. You know, and then you wait. That's your vision cast is verse. The bread's got to be thrown on the water. Yes, sir. And after many days, God said it's a return. Well, I quit counting many. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, I just, I just, I keep saying it. It's going to be the return of the king. Yes, sir. The return of the kings. That they've got to come, and and maybe it's not back here, but somewhere, somebody's got to do the Nehemiah. Mm -hmm. And whether these people have fallen out of the wall, fallen out of relationship with you, fallen out of covenant, fallen out of the church, fallen out of grace, somebody's got to go and put these people back in a wall somewhere. Yes, it may not be here, but it's got to be somewhere because they're viable parts. And, and, and as a parent having the courage to just lay that down mm -hmm. versus it make you scared to say, I ain't never gonna say another word. Oh my goodness! You know, and then you you hide yourself up in the tower somewhere, and uh, and, and that's not healthy. Also, or you say, hmm, I ain't gonna raise nobody else's kid. Oh, Bishop. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm not gonna speak to another situation. You know, I'm just, you know, and then uh, oh. the different one, the different ones to hit you back and say, oh. Can't even handle your own household. So, what makes you think you're qualified to be oh, doing all some of this? Forward mouth people ain't there, yes, sir. And I helped you but, keep but, yours but, together. But, but, but that that is Ooh. the reality of God coming after, yes, sir, the heart, and ask, will you lay that down again? Mm -hmm. And the laying down of that, that, we're back to Abraham. Now I know that there's nothing you will withhold from me. Because it, it, it may jar you. It may knock you down. You may need mouth to mouth resuscitation, all of it. But you get up and you know that you have to continue to do what you know is right. Yes, sir. And, and God, will, God will come back and breathe on that. I found myself in a, in a space um, hmm, a little bit ago. So for the duration of the time I've probably been in the ministry, I've been a defender. Um, that buffer amongst yep. the sons. Yep. And uh, I found myself saying, man, who's going to defend me? Mm -hmm. And only to, hear the, only to hear God say, I don't want you defended right now. Oh, yeah. Which then leads to many lessons that I've heard. Uh, and just stay with me because I really want to really say something to this. The, the many times I've heard you say, 
God asked you for the right, and then God said, I want your reputation. And then it was like, not like anything, and it is, Lord, how is it that on one end, you want me to be a protector? And then on this end, it could be something entirely different. I'll just, just use that. The, the difference being mm -hmm. a defender, but now this part, I'm really trying to show you this next level of fathering. I'm trying to show you this next level of leading right. and, um, and accepting the fact right. that I've been granted a great opportunity. We all have been granted a great opportunity to watch how our leader has come. But there's something inside you say, yeah, my leader came this way. <laughs> I'm a little different from my leader, you know what I'm saying? And God says, did y'all get what I meant? I'm a little different from my leader. Like, my, my leader came this way. Yeah, but I'm not. But you're winding that slingshot. Yeah, but you're winding that slingshot up like, I, you don't even know. You, you have no idea of how skillful I have become in being a protector. That before I even... This this ain't this ain't no this ain't this is a no contest, and it's not and that arrogance. This is a no contest. Really, is what God is asking of some of us to say, "Hey, this is bigger than you. This is way bigger." You said something the other day. You was like, "Man, you said, son, you guys opened up. You opened up a mighty portal when you named Vision Casters." And it sat on me when you name vision casters universal citizen. Um, and I thought, yeah, well, we're going to change the name. We're going to change. But again, no, not change it, but really understanding that God is working things after the counsel of his own will. And I'm going to use, I'm going to stop right there because there's some things that I'm going to teach on right. that are, that are, super unorthodox to Absolutely. this next level of how I believe we're understanding how the church is going to come. Absolutely. Universal. I, 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 think, I think that is key. So, so many, so many things, spirit of courage hit when I saw the invitation, saw the theme, asked you about it, tried to get some feel for what I was doing in the midst of that, knowing that this is a place that uh, you and teach are plowing. And we're talking, and I said, ooh, that was fast. It was declared at your consecration, 2012? 20, 2012, mm -hmm. I believe. So 11, 11, 11, years, mm -hmm. 11 years later, yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's right, 20, 30, mm -hmm. yeah, 11 years later, we are in the door opening up wider, 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 and <laughs> Paul said, and there's a factual door open unto me, and there are many adversaries, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, even that, you use the word defender, protector, that's been your nature from the beginning, even in the other realm, mm -hmm. I told you that. So that, you cannot change that about your makeup, nor can I change the fact that God says, I will never put you in a position that I'm asking you to defend yourself. And I struggle with that, <laughs> you know. Every, 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 I said, you know, I, I can say something to this thing. God said, you will not say a word. And that ain't, that ain't fair. No, At least I'm thinking, it that's not fair. fair. But, but it's almost like God is saying to me, to me about me, the proof of what you are and what I want to do, I will put in the mouth of somebody else to say for you. And I said, how long is it going to take them to say it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, huh? Yeah, I mean, how, 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 how long? Let me, let me uh, our time is getting short. Let me, let me, let me, let me, yeah. let me throw this out about heart and the spirit of courage. Uh, the prophet was talking the other day, and I, and I just laughed because I went back to uh, San Diego because I heard, this young man deal, deal with these two harlots that came to Solomon mm -hmm. about this child. 
hold that thing. I get, I, I laugh, you don't have to come back. I said, start laughing yeah. first of all. Then I thought about, y'all remember the story, right? Both of them had a baby. One of the babies died in the night. This was right after Solomon had a dream. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is imparted to him. And the question is, how is he going to decide who the baby belongs to? So Solomon says, we're just going to cut the baby in half. Oh, my God. And the mama says, it said, her bowels yearned within her. And the mama said, just give her the baby. Yeah. The one whose baby died, laying just give her the baby. Just laying it down. The baby. And, and the other mother said, no, cut him in half. And Solomon said, that's the mama. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Woo! The one that was willing to give her heart yeah. is the one that's the mama. Yes. She'd rather have the baby raised by somebody else than offer up the baby's life. That's, that's powerful, That's baby. powerful. That's, that's courage. Yes, sir. That, that you, you would say, I'm going to entrust my seed in the hands of somebody else, you know? Versus let it die altogether, you know? And the, 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 the skill, the power to let it go, and this is, this is, this is, this is pretty personal here. They probably would need to close with that. So you gave up a ministry. I gave up a ministry. Yes, sir. I tried to keep that thing alive as long as I possibly could. I'm talking about the building, the name, all, all of the above. Set an elder over it, but it was massaging it, blah, 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 only. Now, I can't put this part on you, this part on me. God said to me when we came here, he said, except a seed fall into the crown, ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. And I said, no, it don't have to die. We can just keep massaging it, keep patting it, keep breathing on it, and, and it can grow. And, God, and, and for almost two, three years, I was in this stalemate because of how we had got the building, got the church. I was tied to it. I had relationship. They were not going to let me come out of it. Yeah. And, uh, and the powers that be that I left there were trying to do, but it wasn't going anywhere. And everybody that was grounded settled finally said, we move it, mm -hmm. and I'm still looking at, okay, we can make this happen, but God said, that's not what I told you to do. Yes, sir. And they were trying to massage the name. The name was never them. The name was what was in me. So they couldn't feed it, you know. It was all that stuff. And, and what God basically said, he said, you don't understand that the, the killing of what you think is the ministry is really a seed that's in the people, and that seed is going to be with them everywhere that they go. You know, and now I'm watching God tie people back to us that's part of the seed of that thing that died. Yes, sir. Only to say, well, I was trained by the one that was, with, that was in your ministry way back then, and this is how I got to where I'm at. I mean, but, but literally, when I finally said, okay, God, we're going to kill this thing, and by that time, we were, we were in debt trying to maintain all of this stuff, trying to keep it going and the one that I put in charge said listen we're coming out of this building we're going to change the name we're going to do all this other stuff and I called a realtor and put it and it was sold just like that because <laughs> I laid it down yes sir I tinged on up to it before then I that. <laughs> <laughs> but when I finally laid it down and now I'm watching God said I told you what I said. Yes, sir. This is going to bear much fruit. And now to watch God say, Yes. This person that was a leader in your church is the one that trained me. So, yeah. And, and now I'm, the, it's just, it, yes. Wow. yes. Yes. You had the courage to lay it, lay it down. You did. You did. You're a good <laughs> example of it. Yeah, no. If you'd see me back then, uh uh. I was, I was snatching it. I was snatching it back, back. And some of that was, oh boy. Some of that was, I had people close to me that wanted to keep hope open. 
and were always mindful of having an opportunity to go back when the Lord said, you can't live there. Yes, sir. So I massaged that into the Lord said, okay, we're going to show you what that is. I mean, on and on and on. And I wish I could tell you to happen in a week. God took his time with all of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was like, okay, we're going to take these steps, but now we're going to really let you see why this didn't. Had I listened to the Lord, I remember, and I know we're long, when I hit that first encounter here before I actually accepted the pastorate, that was on a Monday. I went back to Cincinnati on Tuesday. When I got back to Cincinnati that Tuesday, I felt like Cincinnati was no longer my home. Huh. Everything about it was crazy. I knew that I had transitioned to another place, to another rim, but I was trying to make it fit. Wow. When you had the visitation here. When I had the visitation the here about here, yeah. long before any of this pastor stay, any of that. Mm -hmm. I told him about what God had showed me, went home, and home was not, not home from that moment. That's wild, man. <laughs> it's not there. It wasn't there. And I didn't know any different. I'd been there all my life, but it, it felt like it was unfamiliar, foreign to me. Yeah. And something happened in that falling out on the floor right here that I was transitioned to another room, another ram, mm -hmm. and I wasn't, my inner man was not going to be satisfied with anything but that. That's good. Does that make any sense? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Are we in the room? I know. Oh, we're we looking at time. We good? Who? I'm not looking at How you going to make all this fit? We going to keep going after we dismiss everybody? Who, me? You mean yeah, you? we oh, are. Man, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you already know me, baby. No, hmm. sir. Hmm. I'm appreciative of the example, and I'm, I'm even more appreciative of the work of the Holy Spirit in longevity, in, in longevity, mm -hmm. because there are some things that um, the word at time mm -hmm. that ain't going to happen like this, and it's only in the it that it makes us whether it's five years or so many years, you really get a good understanding that God had that plan. Like you're talking about this person, this person, this person, this person, this person taught me, this person taught me. I had, that's, that's over time. Mm -hmm. You know, that speaks to the depth of what was given, the depth of what was received, and the depth that will continue on, you know, past, present, future. Mm -hmm. I, I want that to I want that to be my life. I want that to be not ministry, not business. I want I want that to be my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the Bible says to whom much is given, much is requirement. You will see the spirit of courage as you're navigating the requirement. You know. It will constantly push you, thrust you through every one of those requirements. And for uh, people like me, you, and many of the people in this room, you just, w you just don't want to get through it. You want him to say, well done, yes. when you get through it. Yes, sir. You know, that uh, you, you yield it. And again, God does, not measure, God does not measure faithfulness like we do. God ain't a bit more concerned if we fall on the floor for three days and act the food. That right. don't bother God. The fact that we go, <coughs> you, you know, it, it took me a minute to recover, but you know yeah. I'm going to do it. Right. Okay. I mean, it, it, shook, it shook me a little bit. It, it startled me a little bit. <laughs> but, but I'm still going to do That's what God is looking at. Mm -hmm. we're, we're too busy listening to the enemies talk about how many times we fell on the floor. Yes. But God is saying, but you got up and stood. That's right. You stood with with just my word, and that's what God said. Well done. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Your counsel was great. Yeah, we, we, you see him. We were in a, y'all in the room still? Yeah. Questions, comments? Anybody have a question? Yes, ma'am. I have a question. I know the time is going over, but uh, yep. <laughs> OK. Um, so I do have a question because when you talk about the um, 
the spirit of courage to let things go. And you think about even over your journey, um, or even in some of the examples, you may not always get an Isaac situation where there's a return or a Hannah situation where God, if you do this, if you do this, where there may not be that bargaining thing, yes. but there's still the sacrifice where God is saying, let it go. And that let it go might mean to let it die. Right. And you still have, you still feel that same weight, that same rendering, that same, all of the same emotions are still attached to that. How do you encourage that type of let, it, let go? Not you were forced into it, but it's a let go that it dies. Yeah. 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 The power of the seed mm -hmm. to lay dormant in the ground for years, mm -hmm. you know, is a faith place. Uh, so this incident you heard me talking about, about the letting go of that church situation. I didn't carry the return. I carried the shame of it, the failure of it for years. And I listened to people tell me it was a failure. So some of me not going back was not to run into the people that told me it was a failure. God told you to start that. Guys, you said this was God, blah, 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 blah. And what happened to it? Well, it was a seed. <laughs> it was a spirit. I built a building around it. That's good, man. <laughs> and it was what was being poured into a people. And it wasn't until the last few years. Now, we're talking almost 37 years later right. that God said, and this is the fruit of the seed. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So we even sow in faith. God, I'm going I'm I'm to mm -hmm. lay it down. So for me, it's a double reward. I did what he told me to do. And if nothing else came from that, I know that that's what you asked me to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm well with that. But then you say, I'm going to show you what I did with what you were obedient to do. <laughs> In a critical moment of your ministry. Yes, sir. To let you know that that seed become the foundation of somebody's backbone right now. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's God. So I'd say stay the course, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and I say that out of a rim that's beyond this room. Mm -hmm. A supernatural experience told me you stay the course. Mm -hmm. So something in me is pulling, pulling on that word to say stay the course because God is rewarding you for staying on the lane. Mm -hmm. Even though you might have few people on the side sideline cheering you on, stay the course, stay the course. Mm -hmm. Did that help? Yes. Yeah. Woo we. That's why we don't get very far. Mm -hmm. These emotional moments. <laughs> I think we're getting pretty far. Yeah, I think. Then another question, comment. We yes, need to dismiss please. this, folks, so we can keep going. Anyone else? Well, listen, I pray that you all have enjoyed uh, this opportunity to sit with the king and, and to hear the level of wisdom and insight uh, as well as experience. Um, as you can see that uh, the courage too doesn't come out of one's own strength. Uh, the courage too comes out of the spirit of God. And when the spirit of God lights up on you to be courageous, go with it. And when the Spirit of God lights up on you to be courageous, to be still, go with it. Mm -hmm. So we pray this has been a blessing to you. If you'd like to sow a seed to the man of God, you can sow that to Eric Luper Ministries. We want to be a blessing to him mm -hmm. for always taking the opportunity uh, to share with us. Uh, this is just some of uh, the experiences that are told in story form, uh, but this is real life, absolute real life, and still living it. Uh, some of what was shared tonight um, was this week um, or last week. Yeah. It wasn't 6, 10, 20 years. But however, I'm telling you, it's true, and it is the work of God, uh, and it's marvelous in his sight. So bless you. Pray yeah. that you guys make a great day. We'll talk with you real soon. Yeah.